I'm a goose. A goose. Huh? Hi. <laughs> How was the quarantine treating everyone? Good? Great. <laughs>
on to you because it's actually really funny before um quarantine i was in the car with one of my best friends and they asked me you know shane how do you deal so well with being alone and the question like kind of caught me off guard and i didn't know how to answer it and maybe i can now answer it a little bit better if you know my best friend is watching this um love you strawberry <laughs> i it's funny because like i'm not i don't consider myself an introverted person i consider myself very extroverted because I love being around people, I love being in groups, I love being the life of the party, I love making people laugh, I love, I don't know, I love attention, all right? And no, no lie, I love it. Clearly, I post videos once a week onto the internet that are just, that's just me. It's just all focused on me. Um, I do love attention and I love being with people, but I am someone who does fiercely, fiercely, fiercely enjoy her a long time and like I said when I went through my depressive episode and I locked myself in my room um, I kind of learned how to enjoy being like by myself right and now that I'm here again in quarantine this time mandated by the government I'm actually pretty okay because I know how to like navigate being alone um so i mean i guess if mental illness is good for anything um cheers i think <laughs> um so i don't know maybe these are a couple of, like tips and tricks on how to not lose your fucking mind while you're locked inside <laughs> Please, please. Just have to have somebody I, I, Look at the way that crossover is happening. It feels torture. It's forced. It's it absurd. Is, it feels it because I know the way that shape could lay if it was out of another fabric. It feels so like I feel like my biggest tip is keep yourself cleansed or clean, right? And whatever version of that word means right that doesn't mean like wholeheartedly like you know take a shower do to do to do to do do to do to do to do to do to do right it doesn't have to be a whole judge the whole beat the whole whatever maybe all you can do is at least take a shower okay you rinsed your body off good enough don't worry about your hair don't worry about anything else fine maybe you don't have the energy to take a shower at least wash your face Right, cleanse your face, get your set of fill, and just do a quick little on your skin. Or if anything, you know, maybe just brush your teeth. At least brush your teeth. This part of your body is like the number one thing when it comes to your health. If this is bad, if your chompers are no good, you're no good. My presidential campaign speech right there. <laughs> um yeah, at least do something to keep to at least do something, excuse me, to keep yourself clean. Um, and I think probably my biggest thing would be your teeth, and then after that your body, and then after that your hair. Right. At least if anything, try to brush your teeth twice a day. Um, and I think you'll just feel a lot better knowing at least some part of your body is clean. Tonight, you are my cult. Yeah! And I am your cult leader. Oh. Jake the punch girl. And my word <laughs> is law. Yeah. Can we have a hand sign? I'd like to be able to yes, yes. I'd like to express. Law. 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 forever? Oh, no, that's what I'm talking about. Give me a yeah. strawberry. Can you make us go? Okay. Strawberry, become a strawberry. I like this. Yeah, this? I feel like probably a big thing that a lot of people are gonna say to like make sure that you're like happy and healthy is to like exercise. Um, and I agree. I think exercise can be very helpful. Um, 
but also you don't need to do like a full-blown routine right like I do my fun little like cardio yoga videos here on YouTube and like that's really cool and all um but maybe that's not for you and so I would say like bare minimum that you should do in terms of like being healthy and like exercise and all that is one drink as close to and I like once again this is where like the white mom on Facebook is really about to come out at least drink a gallon of water a day I know water doesn't cure mental illness I understand but it will at least keep you hydrated it will keep your skin smooth your lips won't be papery and dried out your organs will be able to function well nice and fine at least drink your water and then when it comes to exercise or anything I'm genuinely just like a big fan of taking off your pants being in a t-shirt and underwear putting in your headphones and just bopping to some tunes maybe some middle school tunes or some high school tunes or maybe you're actually nothing like me and completely grew out of your emo phase and you actually like to listen to modern music that isn't like the fucking killers are all time low you know maybe you could do that like listen to music just like at least like move around in your room you know you don't have to do it for like a fucking hour or a half hour maybe just like 15 minutes just like dance or move your body flail your arms all around i don't know anything just do something that like creates some movement for you and like i said you don't have to do a fucking full-blown hour shanti whatever that bitch was on the biggest loser like workout right we gotta do break out this big nasty sweat no, 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 no. if you have the energy to do it do it but if you don't well, just just walk around twirl around shake your booty a little bit that's all just for like 15 minutes bare minimum right and i don't know i think like i said at least you get the blood flowing you can see at least i did move today before you like go lay back down in your bed and play animal crossing for like seven hours i make that animal crossing reference but in all fairness i don't i have never played animal crossing i'm not an animal crossing gay and i'm very sorry and totally feel free to hit unsubscribe right now i completely understand i'm not a cool gamer boy That entire time. I keep seeing like on all these like quarantine routine posts like on Twitter or YouTube or whatever, like cleaning is always like a big aspect about that. Um, where they're like, I scrub down the house and I wash the walls and I scrub the tiles with a toothbrush and fucking whistle while you wear blah 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 blah. Okay, Cinderella, I get it. I hear you. Awesome. I'm glad you can do that. And in the most ideal scenario, I would also do that. And some days I am able to do the whole kit and caboodle when it comes to fucking cleaning. But. If you're sad right now and stuck inside, I'm sure cleaning is like the last thing on your mind because, hey look, I know how easy it is just to sit and wallow in your own filth. I tend to do it quite frequently, even when I'm not depressed. <laughs> but, you know, they're not entirely the quarantine routine folk are not entirely wrong when it comes to cleaning, okay? But, as a bare minimum queen that I am, two things I will tell you when it comes to cleaning that I think you should absolutely do, 
or at least do one or the other like i said up to you sweetheart whatever you genuinely have the energy for go ahead and do it um well there's no shade either way i remember like when i was in my deep sads and i was in my pity um two cleaning activities that made me feel the best um it made me feel less like dirty and disgusting and like i was some nasty little pig boy um was vacuuming and cleaning my sheets two of those i find to be both equally as important um who doesn't want to sleep in cleanliness right at least if you are gonna lay around all day don't lay around all day in filth all right as much as i referred myself as a little pig boy i don't really actually want to be a little pig boy okay <laughs> i know especially like any time like i clean my sheets and like that night when i go to bed i sleep infinitely better because i'm not thinking about all the dirty dead skin sales and like crust and crumbs and whatever is just lurking in my sheets i know it's not there anymore and i just sleep a lot more soundly um, and then when it comes to vacuuming, um, vacuuming slash like sweeping, whether you have carpet in your room or you don't, nothing is worse to me than like walking around and getting up and like feeling, I, I don't know, whatever is in the depths of my, of my carpet just feeling it between my toes or on my feet or stepping in something weird and just all like my I shed a lot like clearly look at this whole fucking wig do you know how much of my hair covers the floor so much and that's why I love to vacuum and also between my like two little gremlin dogs all their fur and I know I eat in here sometimes so there's gonna be crumbs here and there and any dust from what I I, I just know shit shit is just in my carpet so once I vacuum, I just know that like, I'm stepping on cleanliness. The ground below me is clean. And therefore, I am clean. Math, math, I'm doing math for you. Look at me, I'm so smart, you're welcome. Seriously, if you can scrub the whole place down, scrub the whole place down. But if you can't, at least clean your sheets and vacuum slash sweep, whatever you got. Um, those two things make me feel infinitely better and I'm sure they'll do the same to you. 100% positive. I'm a doctor, listen to me. You're welcome, Dr. Vibes here. Just checking your vibes and the vibes say, vacuum your carpet and clean your sheets. You, can you heard it here, folks. What's up, gamers? I'm thin. And a YouTuber. Skinny. 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 Yeah. Sugar bear hair skinny. Sugar free. <gasps> sugar free. Sugar free. Sugar free. Honestly, like CVS brand melatonin drops. <laughs> hey, what's up, YouTube? <laughs> I'm at this party right now, and like I was Coachella vibing. Okay, but like this, this is painful. But now I'm pissed. It's like painful looking. That's the point. I got that one just looks bad. That one's not good. That's not good. CVS brand. That looks like a tortilla that got folded in half. Like at my own 16th birthday party. Not your melatonin, baby. Your bio. Your sweet fucking 16. Nails, hair, and skin improvement. My my Sierra. I do it for the vlog. Yeah. Wait, what right do you want to say to the vlog? Wait, 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 <laughs> go. Hi, YouTubers. I just want you to know that um, I'm skinny. Right, right, right. And rail thin. And I also need you to know that every day is going to change. Oh my god, I love that. The summer of what? Yes! What? <laughs> I'm like in slow motion right now, so I want to watch Wait, the video. Where's your beautiful so bean? Like, just so this next one goes out to all of my creative type people, especially. Um, I cannot tell you how many times I have said, man, I wish I had more time to film. 
I wish I had more time to write. I had I wish more time to time to dine 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 now is your time to chonk away at the fic you're writing or work on some some paint. Sketch it up, bro. Uh, <laughs> what else could you do? What are other creative things? Film. Look what I'm doing right now. I'm filming a video. S work on all your projects that I know you have laying around. You have so much time to do them. Um, I know this is like a really easy time to kind of get like caught up in our phones especially twitter i find myself like i am very much addicted to twitter right now and of course twitter is where it is easy to panic the most on because information is literally coming at you at an alarming rate right um especially with how everything can spread so so fucking fast on twitter only like 250 words and suddenly like i want to die on the inside because it seems like the whole world is falling apart which maybe it is but also maybe it's not okay we don't we don't really fucking know <laughs> so i'm about to sound like your fucking uncle at thanksgiving put down the phone and be present with what's in front of you find some projects that are laying around that you started open up your Google Docs, open up your sketchbook, anything at all, turn on your camera and just work on creativity. Be as creative as you can. You have hours and hours, like I said, to do it now. Um, and have fun with it. Write something good, write something shitty. It doesn't matter because potentially maybe the world might end, but also I'm not trying to get that existential. Anyways, it just it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, you have a lot of time to be creative now, so be creative. Work on whatever. Read whatever. Just do something that isn't Twitter. This is some advice mostly going towards me right now. Mary Shannon McHugh, get the fuck off Twitter. <laughs> Yeah, it was like really life changing for me. Vodka water? Yes. It's the only way I will drink water because I don't like water. Really? You don't like water? It's really bad. I wish that I did, but I just. What about you? Two little eggs. No, Look at my spider like eyelashes. Oh my god. Are those your real lashes? Yeah. yeah. I hate you. It's okay. Oh, Corey, call her and push up. Oh, Corey, call her and push up. Oh, Corey, call her and push They were doing it. I feel like the next thing that I'm about to say might sound dumb, but then again, everything I say does sound kind of dumb. So what does it matter? Um, obviously, like I think, like self quarantine is a good time to. So I think quarantine and social distancing and all that is a great time to get reconnected with yourself. Um, because I know some of us out there, and I used to be a lot like this back in the day, and I'm not so much like this anymore, but I know, I think a lot of us, our sense of self is based on being around other people if that makes sense like you feel like you only have self-worth when you're in a group and you don't know how to have self-worth when you're by yourself and i think this would be a great time to take some like different therapeutic means to figure out like who the fuck are you <laughs> like do you honestly know i don't know I'm still figuring out that every day and the only way I'm able to figure that out every day or at least work towards some sense of of being is I take my alone time and I take my alone time very seriously and I know I mentioned like being creative and blah 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 and I think there's all different ways people can find like their sense of self or like how to connect with 
their inner being or like whatever fucking chakra blah blah yes yes yes, yes sure 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 absolutely um in one way or one thing that i'm going to suggest on how you can kind of connect with yourself and this is why i feel like it's going to sound kind of dumb or kind of whatever whatever and i hear you loud and clear but i'm going to try to explain it the best that i can is i think and it's just not just because I'm a very like high fan individual. Um, I think makeup is a great way to kind of figure out you. Um, but I don't mean just like regular like beauty makeup, which is also which is fine if you want to do beauty makeup. But like, I don't know, take the makeup in your room or your mom's makeup or the crusty dusty musty halloween makeup you have lying around underneath your bathroom sink take that makeup any makeup at all and like make yourself pretty but maybe make yourself ugly or maybe that ugly is pretty or maybe the pretty is ugly i don't know just kind of fuck up your face a little bit how would you like to like see yourself do you want to see yourself as this very like classically like attractive individual and do your makeup all nice and very soft and very blah 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 or do you just want to put like 10 pounds of blue and pink eyeshadow on your face or smear your lipstick like like the fucking joker or do you want to i don't know anything like make yourself ultra pale and then pack on these like clown like colors or do you want to take everything like super dark and spooky and make yourself look like how you dreamed you would look like in 2008 when you wanted to be a little emo scene kid but your parents wouldn't allow fuck up fuck up your sick like just fuck this up make it weird make it nasty make it ugly make it beautiful make it pretty i don't know like actually now in quarantine we're being forced to be with ourselves and look at ourselves every fucking day um with no other person to really bounce off of so if you're going to be spending all this time looking at this and you can't stand it and it's making you upset and it's making you think about how alone you are then fine fuck it up change it up but um something you also want to do is like tilt your hips gonna want to you're throwing the that way you want to shift a your... little bit this way okay and that's the part. actually now thinking about it i think i'm gonna go fuck up my face and play with makeup because that sounds like a really good idea because it's been three days since i've done a full face of makeup and that's like for the first time in a very very long time that i've gone without wearing makeup so i think i'm gonna go fuck around um for a little while so i will close out this video but kind of one thing i just want to say real quick is i feel like everything feels like that one episode of the twilight zone where the guy just wants to read right i think he just like wants to read a book and he has no time to read and blah 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 i think like the end of the world happens and i'm very good at giving plot summaries anyway the end of the world happens and he finally has time to read so he sits down to read and then he breaks his fucking glasses and rod serling steps out and says get fucked nerd that's what you get for trying to read <laughs> uh i feel like that's what it, it feels like now i feel like um this is what they would call iconic. Yeah. Are you sure? Can you say that to the camera? This is what they would call Hi. iconic. <laughs> Isn't it well, given how busy all our lives are all the time, you know, we wish we just had time to write, we wish we just had the time to play, to sit, to anything at all. Um, you know, we always constantly say, you know, I wish I had more time, I wish I had more time. Well, now you do have time. Unfortunately, um, maybe a global pandemic is not what we had in mind in terms of getting more time, but alas, we are here. And, um, you know, just like when life gives you lemons, you gotta make lemonade. <laughs> um yeah no look we're forced right now to have a lot of time so do something with it you know just try to okay don't feel pressured but 
you do finally have time to to hand motion that's what you have time for now <laughs> um but no seriously you have time you're gonna have a lot of it and um who knows maybe at the end of two weeks we go back into the busy swing of things or we don't uh, but that's not something we can panic about right now so that's why we just need to keep focused on what is in front of us and what's in front of you is maybe a dirty carpet or a notebook filled with an unfinished story or maybe your Spotify has created you a daily mix that you haven't listened to yet um, or blah 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 whatever else my dumb ass rambled on and on about um, for this entire video okay like you have time you have plenty of time now so put down the phone get off Twitter do something for yourself by yourself and take this time to be self-sufficient in your loneliness I hope any of that came out correct or made sense to you. And if it didn't, thank you for watching and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a good rest of your day or night or wherever this video finds you and I will catch you next time. Okay? Okay. <laughs>